Hey Collective, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a pick a card on what does the sun want you to know right now? What messages does the sun have for you? But before I get into any of that, I would like to give off some announcements here for you all. The first announcement, of course, is going to be my thanks. I would like to thank you all for all of the comments, the likes, the subscribe the donations the booking or reading things of that nature <laughs> it is all so much appreciated and i greatly do love each and every one of you so much from the, the pits of my heart okay um the second announcement here is going to be a sponsored message here from rose forever so you know we all are coming into mother's day mother's day is coming up here okay and i feel as though this would be a beautiful gift for um yourself even all the mothers out here okay this is a time for you to love yourself all right or just get this energy of roses within your energy 100 percent, because they definitely give that vibe okay um I would definitely recommend this energy here, okay? And if you don't know what Rose Forever is, um, Rose Forever is a brand that was launched in New York around 2019, okay? They design luxurious rose boxes with natural roses that stay fresh and gorgeous for at least a year, okay? So they're very beautiful. I genuinely love these roses. I spoke with them before on my channel, but genuinely they're beautiful roses each rose is handcrafted by professional flower artisans and treated with natural oil to preserve its freshness and beauty so i genuinely love them <laughs> for how much care and energies have been put into them and like the amount of colors and box shapes as well like the flowers are carefully arranged inside of a hot a hat box that's inspired by a parisian chic style parisian chic style is what i meant offering dozens of design options based on customer and influencer feedback so they do definitely listen to their customers okay um with anything that's given to them so they definitely have a heart <laughs> okay um there's an enormous choice of rose colors box shapes um and materials which allow for customization to match individual taste or home interior design so definitely take a look into these roses for mother's day or at least for yourself because my main reason in getting these was also of course i've been like i spoke with it before the royal blue color the royalty within my veins <laughs> but also now that i've had the experience of having them around whenever i do see them i genuinely get this energy of me being able to love myself you know um because i you know, I don't normally get roses for myself. So when I do or when I did, <laughs> it genuinely awoken something within my own energy that allowed me to push forward during the days when I felt as though I couldn't. So just having these around is just very beautiful. Like there is definitely an energetic shift within these energies. OK, like just naturally them being the roses that they are and the color, <laughs> very beautiful energies. So definitely take a look all right um i do have a discount code in the description box if you are interested as well as i do have um a discount code for free shipping here okay all of that information will be in the description box okay so go ahead and take a look for that as well as the link to rose forever's shop here okay I'm sure I'll have something on the screen here so that you can see the things that I've been looking at. So, thank you, Rose Forever, for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and get right into it, okay? I'm going to put these over here. Let's go ahead and bring out the cards. Pile number one is going to be card number 42, World Peace and Cooperation, as well as this Garnet piece here. So star garnet, aster asterized garnet as well. Okay, this is poem number one for what does the sun want you to know? Poem number two is going to be card number 15 with travel here. 
as well as this green adventuring. Okay, this is pile number two. Very interesting energy here. Pile number three <laughs> is going to be card number 29, Dragons, as well as this Apophyllite piece here. This Apophyllite point. Okay. Pile number four is going to be card number eight music as well as this angelite piece here so of course timestamps for each pile will either be here on the screen or in the description box um you can definitely choose more than one okay because we're talking about the sun here so definitely go for wherever you are called okay definitely understand that probably this is a general reading, okay? So not all messages may or may not resonate with you, okay? As well, um, let's see. I believe that may be all here, okay? I'll definitely see you at your reading or readings. <laughs> okay, be the beautiful soul. Hey, poem number one. If you have chosen this card number 42, World Peace and Cooperation, or this garnet piece here then this will be your reading for what does the sun want you to know right now okay what messages does the sun have for you i do have some channel messages over here as well so we will be tapping into that but first i want to sit and connect with the energies for a while okay Okay, <clears throat> I was getting this energy for you, pile number one. Um, the sun wants you to know that there may be some type of connection at the forefront of your mind right now, is what I'm hearing, that may be showing you a version of yourself that is ready for you to integrate here, is kind of what I'm getting. It's almost as if you're seeing yourself in another dimension, um, seeing the divine within yourself reflected within another as well. But the card itself says, choose harmlessness and teamwork. So you may be called to, instead of choosing a harmful route or a solo dolo kind of route, <laughs> you may be called to choose harmlessness and instead be within a teamwork grouping type of setting here in wh whatever type of situation this may be for you but i can tell that others energies are kind of important here when it comes to what the sun wants you to know it's as if you are in connection with others to make what you want to manifest into reality it's, it's like you're really working with others to cooperate bring about something together with this garnet here as well it was given this energy of like um vitality here okay something about also healing the body is what i'm hearing i'm also hearing that you have these capabilities gifts um psychic abilities or talents that allow you to really connect with spirit in a different way here is what i'm getting okay this is what the sun wants you to know there's also emphasis on like these beings of light here, okay, present within your reading that are emphasizing on the fact that you are ready for something here, pile number one. There's something that is available for you to receive here, okay? Something about you being open to this energy as well. My readings are definitely timeless, okay, but there is definitely emphasis on the moment of you watching this reading here something about you also focusing on your energy because you're transforming i'm hearing that your throat chakra is also transforming your authenticity it's almost as if you're learning a new version of yourself is what i'm getting i'm also hearing that the universe is speaking through you okay um 
four and two reduced two and six so i'm definitely getting this energy of sustainability here balance harmony i don't know i'm hearing luck so the sun is also letting you know that you will be having luck within your energies soon there's also emphasis on the color pink here okay as well as dragons <laughs> okay um let's see let's go ahead and look into these guided meditations why did i say guided meditation i feel like guided meditations may be significant for you as well Poem number one meditating here finding time to listen to the universe is what i'm hearing as well world peace and cooperation here there may even be some type of situation here that is causing or calling for your peaceful attention and not so much of an energy of aggression is what i'm hearing um something about you being the mediator in some type of situation here as well pile number one you know how to bring a situation to i'm hearing a halt but you may also be able to transmute certain negative energies in a situation to positivity I'm also hearing confirmation here. I'm also hearing may your mind be enlightened with truth, wisdom, and clarity. Okay, pile number one. There is some form of clarity, wisdom, as well as truth coming into your energies. And this is what the sun wants you to know. Hummingbirds might be significant. Doves. Okay, let's go ahead and look into the channel messages that I have for you. Um, some of you here may be from Paris. Okay something about that may be significant for you pile number one something about september um october as well nine and ten may be significant also have angel numbers two nine two as well as two three four i saw two three four before starting your reading so i can definitely tell that that one is significant um for the first bullet point of your channel messages i have connection or connections and it's ironic because even the card kind of symbolizes that energy so there may even be emphasis on your connections right now, um, your relations with either spirit, source, your children, um, your platonic and romantic, romantic relationships here. Hmm. Okay, I also have 444, protected energy here, foundational energy also have environmental sciences okay computer engineering some of you may be in college right now studying certain things here it doesn't have to be environmental sciences or computer engineering but you may be in college here or studying something um also have normal but better okay so you may be working on something having it go from normal to better improvement over time consistency here um, travel okay so you may be traveling now or traveling is something that the sun wants you to know about okay confirmation here pile number two may be significant for you pile number one because i believe that card is titled travel here um there's something about you being in between worlds as well you may have been seeing blue jays um robins birds in general just seem to be significant for your energy so I actually got this book out that i'm gonna flip to a random page to and see what we get it's a bird book i haven't used it on the channel in a while but yeah love it eagles may even be significant but we're gonna tap into that once i finish this here um there's gonna be a gigantic win within your energy as well pawn number one so be prepared for that this is something that the sun wants you to know you're going to have a gigantic win i'm also hearing that it's going to be a worldwide win so it's almost as if all the souls, all the beings, all the essences on the earth will know that you have won or that you have gotten this gigantic win here. There's also emphasis on you moving on from something, which is interesting. It says your wins are justified as well. A change of <clears throat> a change of address or phone number may be significant. So you may have changed your address or again, traveling here. So you may be moving soon. This is definitely giving the energy of a whole new you because we have a change of address and a change of phone number. You may even have a change of appearance is what I'm hearing. You may genuinely be stepping into a newfound 
um, love that you found within something that is a part of your physical appearance. You may have changed your hair, started to get into makeup here, um, self-care routines, things of that nature here, or something that I'm being drawn to. You may have been working on these things. Um, a game of tic-tac-toe may be significant as well. So you may have played tic-tac-toe recently. The X's and the O's, hugs and kisses. I'm also being drawn to XXX or 30. Okay, so three X's may even be significant here. Um, also have 343 three as an angel number as well. That one I'm kind of being drawn to search up for you and see what comes through. Let's see. Search engine 343. Angel number. Do, 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 do. It's a mixture of creativity, self expression, and spiritual enlightenment. Good energies, good energies. Excuse me. Um, it usually means to pay attention to what's going on in your physical world. Mm -hmm. It also means that you have angels all around you helping you. So, okay, so you have support here, is what this 343 is saying. Um, something about you also having a glowing presence. I was also hearing a glow up for you, so you may even be undergoing some form of glow up season. Okay, I don't even know why I'm being drawn to pawn number four. Okay, pawn number four may be significant as well. We have channeled writing. Okay, so you may be someone that has very strong connections to channeling energies. Okay, you are a strong conduit for the divine energy. Pawn number one. This is what the sun wants you to know right now. Your creative endeavors are being supported by your guys, okay? And your angels here. So whatever you tap into create creatively is going to be very luck-oriented is what I'm hearing. You're going to have some type of boost within this energy. Okay, that's all that I have for channel messages. Okay. Big things that stood out was that you're in between rows. There's going to be this gigantic win within your energy. And you may even have a change of address or phone number. <laughs> Okay, I just felt called to go here. No way, we're at the owls. So, owls may really be significant for you here. Camouflage plumage, a snowy owl may be significant. The ear tufts, it says several owls, including the great horned owl, have prominent ear tufts or horns, as they are also called. The function of these tufts remain hotly disputed. Some argue they that they ate daytime camouflage. <clears throat> so something about you being camouflaged within the daytime here, pawn number one, or just being camouflaged in general, um, breaking up the shape of the owl and bending it with its perch. Others believe that the tufts are used for behavioral signaling and species recognition. What appears clear is that they have no role in hearing. So it's just for show. So something within your energies may be just for show here. Okay, let's go to a different page. Choose harmlessness and teamwork here. What else do we have? What are these color forms? Oh, these are goose. So you may have been seeing goose a lot or geese or just ducks in general. Let's go to another page. Spooky. This is a northern saw wet owl. Okay, so owls may really be significant for you. Okay, this is very beautiful. Birch trees may even be significant. It says this northern saw wet wow has made its nest in a birch tree found in many North American woodlands. The species often uses holes made by woodpeckers. So again, there's that teamwork energy coming through. OK, this owl has in a sense worked with a woodpecker to make this home. OK, to get its foundation in check. Look at how big the hole is. It's literally chilling inside of that hole, dude very safe i feel like there's an energy here of you being protected by nature okay pawn number one this is something that the sun wants you to know maybe even working with trees around this time could be very beneficial for you hmm, imagining yourself literally inside of it just as this owl is here let's go to another page and then i want to tap into some energies mm, our world wobblers <laughs> a black bull bulbul bull? I have no clue how to pronounce it here. Let's go to another page. Behavior. These small slender birds have thin bills and a variety of plumages. Look at them nurturing their young. Okay, so there may be significance on you nurturing your young here. Okay. Wax bills and relatives. Oh, here's the blue bill. Grenadier, a purple. Oh, this is pretty. A fire finch. Ooh. 
nesting. Aww. Y'all, I am genuinely enjoying myself here. Wait, let me go back. What's this? A kingfisher. These are pretty. I'm literally just enjoying myself here. Hello. A parakeet. Gray parrot. Parrots may be significant. Or something about your voice here. But I'm going to put this up. And we're going to go ahead and tap into your energies and see what comes through. Just because of that owl, I'm going to definitely tap in. Uh, so let's see. One message is, hey, look at this. More energies of teamwork. This is the three of pentacles on the split. The sun may want you to genuinely find some time to cooperate with maybe even your own spirit guides. Teamwork with your ancient ancestors as well. Because there's something about those here in Pond Number 1 having genuine connections with the sun and the sense that you have ancestor like solar ancestry is what i'm hearing it's almost as if um you have ancestors that resonate with the sun as well that are connecting with your energy and sending you certain downloads here as well is what i'm hearing <clears throat> very interesting here let's see what do we have six of swords okay first card out movement is kind of what i'm getting but there's this energy of you going towards like this is a journey here is what i'm hearing we have the star okay more energies of like movement is what i'm getting the community may be significant aquarius energy here heavy okay we have the ace of pentacles up under that this is some type of opportunity for you to work with someone here Maybe even work with such a divine being is kind of what I'm hearing as well. No way. Uh, you're going to be working with like the sun in some type of way here. And this is a golden opportunity for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles as well with the sun in it here. It's almost as if you're slowly but surely literally progressing towards some type of heaven on earth vibration is what I'm hearing. I'm also being drawn to 111 here again, the Three of Pentacles on the split teamwork vibes blueprint energy is what i'm hearing these owls are genuinely smiling here so i'm getting this energy of you being happy soon this is something that the sun wants you to know and it's funny how we were talking about travel and in between worlds this is giving that energy of you traveling and being in between worlds right now maybe you're also in cooperation with some type of star <clears throat> that's within space some type of energetic being here that represents this solar activity for you can i get one more card here before we go into a different deck spirit there is a definitely golden opportunity here for you coming from the sun okay be open to this energy we do have the seven of wands <clears throat> it's giving the energy of you standing your ground here this page of cups as well new emotions here is what i'm hearing you putting your foot into some new emotions. Hmm. Taking up an offer as well is what I'm hearing. What's this card? Three of Swords. An offer that may have caused pain. Seven of Swords. Oof. Energy here. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is shifting. Thank you, Spirit. Any energy that may have caused you some form of like disbelief is what I'm hearing. Anything that may have made you want to like turn tail is also something that i'm hearing know that this is shifting for you and there's about to be some form of new beginning within your energy because of this full energy you will be asked to take some form of leap of faith away from an energy that's causing you like drama here okay this is something that the sun wants you to know focus on yourself is also something that i'm hearing while there are other things happening around you 777 could also be significant here so let's put this up and we're going to go into a different deck and see what it is that the sun wants you to know here. I'm being drawn to energetic downloads. Okay, so you may be like consciously pulling in energetic downloads from the sun into your 3D vessel to allow you to transition through something much easier here because there's definitely something about you aiming towards some form of desired reality and going to achieve this here. Okay. I'm also being drawn to some type of um 
ancient deity that is not ancient. okay it could even be an ancient deity most definitely on the split we have dream for the new earth time for a magical life this is big energy this is the syrian emissaries here music may be significant for you certain music that you listen to can also bring about a higher vibration within your energy it may even be the nine sophagio frequency something about that may be significant for you 14 14 may be significant as well let's see what comes through here we have purity it says you are pure open spiritual eyes just thinking about this energy i'm thinking about the sun here okay it's making me think about how like do some sun gazing okay as soon as possible whenever you can if the weather so permits but you can definitely connect with the sun knowing that it's always there okay even if your area is cloudy or there's rain this this that and the third you can always connect with this energy you can genuinely consciously pull that energy towards you as well something about you being a magnet for the solar rays of the sun here you are pure open your spiritual eyes um something about you being very spiritually inclined as well we also have the tree of life here okay circle of life clear energies and channel life is definitely significant here I'm hearing some one of you are purifying your own energies, like you're purifying your energy so that you can become a clear energy channel for sources messages. This is literally happening as we speak. I'm being drawn to this card. We have restore. Okay, time out for you. Nature, shamanic signs. Very interesting. It's kind of reminding me of that energy of then again that how we saw that owl. And how it was like inside of the tree stump or the the birch tree it definitely gives this energy of res restoration for you here as well this is what the song wants you to know you are restoring your energy go within listen loving parrington here as well hmm. you're being attuned to something here let's see I'm just going with the flow. <clears throat> the color purple seems to be significant as well. Working with purple, your crown chakra. Once again, getting those downloads from the divine here. I want to get some more energies on this restoring here. What are we restoring from? What does the sun want you to restore for? So I feel like something's coming in. Something is coming up soon that the sun wants you to be prepared for. We have the King of Cups here, emotional maturity, Just being able to genuinely stand above your body of emotions and make decisions here. King of Pentacles, look at that, being mature about like your own earthly um, material goings here, being very stable within even your own energy, because this is masculine energy. We have the lovers as well. For some of you here, there's something about you being patient and resting right now before something comes in towards you. And this could even be like a lover type energy because that's just something that I'm being drawn to. Okay. Because we definitely have the lovers here. And I feel like there's some type of courtship going on between the sun as well as you. Okay. That's only if that resonates. Let's see what these cards are. We have the five of swords here page of pentacles i'm also hearing that there's some type of offer here that's going to allow for someone to walk away from some type of situation it's going to be very eye-opening as well with this tower energy it may even come off as very shocking okay but this is meant to happen here okay this is a part of the divine's will we also have queen of swords here mm -hmm. some of you here also may have just genuinely distanced yourself from certain individuals that no longer resonated with your energy or this is something that you're being asked to do by the sun here, okay? This is a big offer that you can definitely be heavily invested into and still be able to get what it is that you want, okay? Look at that. And then we have Aquarius energy again, or at least the star. So there's big energy on the stars, um, the sun here as well, as well as transmutation, okay? I feel like you can transmute some energies here. So let's get this up and this. I feel like that was a cute little message I just wanted to come through. 
Let's see. Taking time out for you. What is it that the sun wants my palm number wants to know right now? Back again with the page of pentacles. Some type of genuine offer that you were invested into, okay? Seeing something start at the very beginning. The two of cups. Some type of relationship. We even have the tower as well as the ten of pentacles here. May even be something within the family dynamic here. You finding love or you just being heavily invested within yourself so that you can come into balance here is what I'm getting with this page of pentacles and two of cups energy. This is why they're asking you to get this time out for you. Okay, spend time in nature as well. Even the shamanic signs, like I'm saying, like you see how these two individuals are finding time to connect with one another. As so in nature are these two swans in the back. So I feel like you have a very strong connection with nature. This is something that the sun wants you to know here, Pond Point. And nature reflects your energy okay most definitely some of you may have been seeing pigs or piglets but there's definitely an energy of birthing of the new is what i'm hearing some of you may even have your own farms as well you may have been seeing certain things getting birthed at your farm or just and genuinely and genuinely well genuinely big energy <laughs> something about 101 as well let's put this deck up look at that on this the sun is at the bottom of the deck and the sun again so we've seen the sun and the star twice within your reading here it's just giving me big energies of how connected you really are with our central sun now i'm being drawn to a deck here but I still, i'm still curious about which divine master or the divine master is working within your energy here because i feel like they want to at least just make themselves known to you okay pile number one Look at this energy. We have crown chakra upgrade, divine connection, holy experiences, miraculous energy. And again, we have dove energy. Earlier I said doves may be significant for you. Maybe they're also symbol or symbolism for you of this holy experiences about to happen within your energy. This is something that the sun wants you to know. They want you to open your spiritual eyes to the divine connection that you have within yourself here. The miraculous energy that's about to happen around you as well again with this energy you may even be really rebirthed by the light that is touching your skin okay your dna may literally undergo some form of shift when the solar rays touch it here you're being recreated here supernova energy renewal okay so the solar rays may even be very renewing to you here in pile number one I feel like there's something about you being able to direct your energy in a certain direction here that can really benefit you. You may even want to consciously focus on being this divine channel for divine energies. Even the sun. Look at this light immersion. Hathor light codes. So there are light codes that want to come into your vibration here, Paul number one. Full system upgrade. Power recall. So you're recalling your power possibly even from certain situations that weren't all too beneficial for you okay you're undergoing these energies and you're partnering up with the sun okay you you are in cooperative energies with the sun and the stars allowing yourself to be immersed in light is what i'm hearing lavender may be significant as well it's just something that i heard here okay so let me put this up and then go into this other deck and see what the sun wants you to know here we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Big opportunities from the sun here. Big opportunities. Focal in on these energies. I feel like you can definitely connect with the sun here. There's also something about your creativity. The things that you are working on right now. Um, something about that breaking the ice within your own energy. Like you may even just be at the beginning stages of something right now. But... It's breaking the ice within your energy and allowing so much to flow through you that you don't even know the best of what's to happen yet is what I'm hearing. So keep going, okay? Don't give up. Holy experiences and miraculous energy is building up in your energy. So let's see. 
what guides are here with you we have mary magdalene look at that sacred vessel i feel like you have a very sacred vessel okay it is also one two three on the clock right now wish i can show you not even sure how i would be able to but it's definitely one two three on the clock um you are the answer be guided to your purpose here okay so there's something about your purpose that is significant what it is that you came to this plane of existence to do i feel like some of this energy will be coming online for you you will be opening your spiritual eyes to this energy we also have el moria here with spiritual force field protective light is surrounding you you are safe like you see how much light is just surrounding your energy pile number one and this is what the sun wants you to know there may even be emphasis on you wanting to wear some type of blue crystal here okay lapis lazuli it may even be um sodalite is what i'm hearing sapphire as well um just anything of the sort maybe even labradorite may be significant but you have a spiritual force field around your energy right now as you are integrating such high vibrational light codes um big things are happening for you here in pile number one okay this is what the sun wants you to know even you being this sacred vessel is a very big deal okay mary magdalene has come through Mordia has come through no way did not say something about you clearing your own energies so that you can become a channel for the divine here we have senate kumara here with open channel it says signs codes downloads and sacred information is literally being given to you pile number one be open to these energies like it's here it's right here we also have isis with reclaiming magic and we have power recall here i'm also getting this energy of you having a strong connection with either ra isis hathor um heru any of these energies from ancient comedic times may be very significant for you it says call back your power and what is rightfully yours and the sun is helping you do these things because i feel like you can really re really bring about world peace in some type of way like i feel like for some of you here in pond number one you don't even truly realize how much power you really have that is able for you to recall okay because it's almost as if you've made some type of um foundation around not having all of the gifts that you've needed here to be on this earthly plane but these things are coming online for you so things in your current reality may be shifting here i love this okay we also have healing light up under that it says wellness unfolding know that healing is a journey so most definitely with this two of cups as well but pawn number one i feel like that's all that the sun wants you to know right now okay um be sure to give the video a like comment and share if you feel so called to i love you dearly we also got confirmation once i said that this was the end of your reading so definitely going with that um you are very much so protected okay you have this spiritual force field here your protective light is surrounding you and i mean like the light there's so much light here <laughs> okay but i'll see you around Hey, pile number two, if you have chosen card number 15, travel, or this green adventuring here, then this will be your reading for what does the sun want you to know right now, all right? I do have channeled messages here written down already for your pile, okay, pile number two. I'm not going to get into those just as of yet. I want to connect with the energies here first, okay? and i was really getting this energy of um all right you're gonna be traveling soon all right i don't know if you're prepared for this or you already have a plan to go somewhere but you're gonna be traveling somewhere okay this is what the sun wants you to know and then more so it's big energies of like either you quite literally traveling to the sun is what i'm hearing energetically or this is going to be some form of um i'm hearing astronomical or an astral shift for you or something like where you are astral traveling here um traveling within your dreams traveling just as an energy form something about that is significant okay maybe even the ninth house as well as sagittarius energy may be significant here i'm also being drawn to pluto 
which may be significant now Scorpio energy but okay um triangles may be significant as well there's a big energy of almost you calling in this um energetic shift within your energy because i definitely do see portals here okay like portals are around you most definitely pound number two and these portals are opportunities into like realities that you can gain something from here I'm also being drawn to mushrooms, so you may have been taking mushrooms or genuinely just putting mushrooms in your salad or whatever the case may be. Psychedelic mushrooms may be significant as well. Some of you have this light or this vibration um, emitting off of you that's genuinely calling in certain vibrations. like. It's giving Snow White. <laughs> like some of you have a really strong connection with um, certain animals in the area. Um, your vibration is very unique here. Okay. This is what the sun wants you to know. There's also this energy of like how the sun is going to be really awakening some type of energy within you to allow you to see more of this gift that you have. The card itself says find ecological ways to explore the world. So ecological ways to explore the world so i guess <laughs> some of you really do have like a want or a thing of wanting to travel the world um seeing so many things things of that nature there's something about dreams here like dreamscape i did say something about astral travel already but something about that is significant i was also drawn to like a galactic federation no energy or like just higher ups here something about that may be significant as well for what the sun wants you to know right now there is a butterfly in the card so transformation is definitely significant metamorphosis here there's also something about how um those here in pond number two are being pushed um being nudged in a certain direction or are being led to a certain destination here and traveling is a part of the journey here is what i'm hearing the color green could also be very significant so let's look into the channel messages here okay of course that was channel messages but these are written down um something here about someone trying to stop your flow but you never give up okay um there's also something about the top so you may be wanting or aiming for the top. You may even be. I'm being drawn to the lid of like a pickle jar. I'm not sure where this is going here, but we have the movies, the cinema theater. <laughs> so you may have been recently to the movies or this is something that you would like to go do is see a movie here. Go to the theater. There's emphasis about your life being a movie is what I'm hearing. Your emotions are significant here, palm number two. We have symbiosis, um, helix rings, or valence control may be significant as well. Something about atoms, neutrons, protons, things of that nature. The subtle energies of life. I feel like some of you are really going to be connecting more with things. Very interesting. Um, disharmonious rhythm is also here. So something may be disharmonious within your current energy. And you're picking this up. We also have music artist, music engineer. You may be doing these things. Or you may be a music artist or a music engineer. Um, some, A lot of you in pot number two are going towards your goals. And this is very beautiful. And channel message energy. Some of you are multitasking as well. Pink and yellow may be significant. I have higher heart chakra, unconditional love. Some of you may have experienced a toxic energy, but know that you will survive this. Um, the solar plexus chakra, more so with the inner fire, willpower. There may even be emphasis on a soap opera. Then again, like I said, some of you, your lives are like a movie here. So soap operas may be significant. We also have the auditorium here, as well as standing ovation. Look at that. So you're very seen here, pawn number two, or you're going to be like six of wands energy recognition here. People are going to be wanting to wanting more of your energy 
and then I have here next level type stuff here. Okay, so hmm, it's giving high vibrational energy, but at the same time, with this trying to stop your flow, but you never give up, it's almost as if some of you may be experiencing spiritual attacks and things of that nature, or um, just feeling as though there are things not wanting or allowing you to push forward. We're getting this energy that the sun is working with you to allow you to travel soon. Let's just see. Let's just tap in and see. Because I was drawn to this. I want to go into that exact deck again to see what was really going on. Because Dave's a little bit hello. Let's see here. I'm hearing golden chalice. So Ace of Cups energy may be significant here is what I'm hearing. Ace of Cups energy. What else do we have? What does the sun want my poem number two is to know? It says leadership and decisions here. Make choices for the highest good of all. Okay. Look at how the sun is there. And how there's like people surrounding it as well. And this does remind me of a heart. I'm sure that's a heart. And we have more butterflies. So your heart chakra is definitely significant here. Pile number two. Of course, with the green chakra, green chakra, the green crystal as well. Bottom of the deck, we have manifestation and mind control. Focus your thoughts here. There's definitely emphasis on you being able to take control of your own energy here. Meditation here. A lot of you here in pond number two are very powerful. Okay. Connect with your energy and visualize the energy floating around you. Visualize the things that you can do with this energy and make it so. Okay. Because you're connecting with high vibrational things. Look at this. We have crystalline light body. Build your crystalline Merkaba. You are definitely working within these energies and you may be doing this with another individual here, seeing how there's a masculine and a feminine figure. But this could even just be your aspects showing themselves to you. As in to let you know how beautiful your energy is here. Okay, I'm going to leave that out because that's very nice. Look at this blueprint for 5D humanity. Remember your gifts and powers. Because your energy is big. Look, just as I say that there's a small individual here and then the energy body is just so large. And I feel like this is for your energy. Pound number two. Okay. Educate your mind and senses here. Okay, expand your right brain creativity. Do things that allow you to get more knowledge about yourself. I feel like the number three is very significant as well. So three, 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 um, three, four, five, 32, 33, because that's definitely here. Increasing energy. Okay, nature may even be significant for you. Hmm. What does the sun want my pound number two is to know right now spirit I'm, oh my god i don't know why i'm hearing disturbia by rihanna i'm not sure <laughs> i just saw 33 again with master healing now I'm seeing 21 with spiritual service. You may be receiving some form of spiritual service of master healing that's going to allow you to paradigm shift soon. Or this is something that you're undergoing right now is this energy of receiving such light from the light. I don't know why I was about to say the lion. What? So Lyran energy may be significant. The Lyran community, the Lyran collective. We have initiation by air. Okay, so you're being initiated into something here. And you, it really may be calling you to be outside here so that you can connect with your energy. Traveling may, like, definitely help with this energy. Bottom of the deck, we have fifth ray of intellectual knowledge. Look at your light. Pile number two. You annoy people. I mean, like, not even on purpose, but it's like... Look at their faces. It's, it's your energy. All you're doing is sitting here being intellectual and knowledgeable about your own energy. And it's allowing you to be this form of lighthouse while you're just being here. You annoy people. People's demons more so. Okay. You annoy people's 
um, negative antics, things of that nature, with just the wisdom of your divine feminine energies. Look at how the light sparkles around you as well, poem number two. Very divine feminine energy, but very alluring as well. Okay, I'm going to keep that because it's very, look at that. Reassurance of the golden light. Like, you have this golden light about yourself here. This is also a card of letting you know that everything will be perfectly fine within your current energy. Those of you here in palm number two, like everything will be perfectly fine. Watch, let me tell you about it. If I can find, uh... oh. Reassurance of the golden light, 36. Some of you, um, you all's past lives are going to be activating here as well. The gift you are receiving is worthwhile <clears throat> as you cleanse the memories, beliefs or programs that once caused you to subconsciously protect yourself by hiding your talent. You will grow strong enough to process the pain and stand in the truth of your reclaimed gifts. If you have been considering a new line of work, feeling like you like to explore or express different talents or have the urge to develop an interest and transform it into a vocation, you are very likely already feeling the stirrings of that past life activation now taking place for you. Trust the changes you feel. A part of your divine inheritance is being restored to you. Ah, Shay. Okay, so you're already going through big energies here. Like, you have divine inheritance being restored to you right now. And uh, it says, when the golden light appears, it is a sign that everything in your life, even the most troubling matters, is going to work out perfectly. They are hold or held. They are held in the graceful hand of the divine, and will be revealed or resolved more swiftly and beautifully than you might expect. So, and it's funny because we already talked about you remembering your gifts and your powers, and then we just talked about how this is some form of past life activation coming through for you. Very strong energies. Everything's gonna be perfectly fine here as well. Let's see. Go into a different deck. Gosh. something about bugs may be significant i'm hearing bugs bunny now looney tunes may be significant as well something about your akashic records poem number two receiving messages or downloads from that energy as well wow you're not alone either you have your ancestors here working within your heart Your ancestors are even here. What messages do we have for what the sun wants? My poem number two is to know. I'm seeing 444 four, four right now. Okay. And it's ironic because poem number one had that as a channel message. Um, 444. Four, four. So poem number one may be significant for you. We have abundance with bison here. Sacred buffalo cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Look at that. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. So look at that, because that kind of does give these energies. And she's doing a heart opening mudra. So it's as if she's allowing herself to almost accept the current situation she's finding herself in. Or this individual, this individual may even be you, pile number two. But you are going to be receiving some form of reassurance from the sun here. Letting you know that abundance is going to be a part of your birthright. Or it is a part of your birthright, okay? Very interesting. Oh my goodness. Bottom of the deck. We have community here. And this kind of leadership and decisions reminds me of your community, your um, soul family here. It says you are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. And this is, again, more feminine energy. And it's funny, really funny, because I talked about in pile number one, owls. And then here we have magic. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up, dear one. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. <laughs> Wasn't I talking about how abundance is your birthright? Like, now we have, like, magic and wisdom are your birthright. So you have a lot of these energies coming in for you here. And this is what the sun wants you to know. Like, I don't know what you've been doing, pile number two, but you've been working on your energetic body, um, your Akashic records. You've been spiritually attuned. You've been 
doing the damn thing okay if i'm being completely honest but this energy is coming through because it's your birthright okay and you're receiving it soon you're being initiated into this energy make choices for the highest good of all i feel like you have been doing that energy for a, quite a while actually such a beautiful soul you are as well you're going to be experiencing freedom soon look at this it says your heart is pure and free a greater purpose calls you you have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength you follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams even if they're small dreams or big dreams that you have you know how to make something feel as though you've accomplished something within life and that's very beautiful energy you have a connection with love that maybe others don't know how to truly explain you know i love this energy let us see yeah yeah because i did say something about the lyran energy and i felt like that may be significant for you so let's go ahead and see wait we gotta get some tarot as well so we're gonna do that just a tad just to see what the sun may want you to know here definitely some flowers are significant okay call number two working with sunflowers something about you also soon to be setting flight going on a flight it's funny how we have travel so you may <laughs> uh you may be uh flying okay like getting in an airplane we're gonna go, go into another deck and see but what does the sun want my palm number two is to know no way we have dimensional shift here card number 18 manifestation harmony dreams to reality here wow this is big energy and i mean like you're coming into the birthright of the things meant for you here and this is what the sun wants you to know your crystalline light body is activating here you are remembering your gifts and powers through this dimensional shift that's happening like i'm hearing within your area okay so this could also just be happening to where you are hmm, mystery school at the bottom of the deck curiosity opens up advanced awareness look at on the split cellular upgrade listen step back and learn from your surroundings so you may even be called to take a step back from certain things okay because you're undergoing such a big shift within your energy look at how you're shining here love you're shining Paul number Paul number two almost said okay this may be very intense as well perception shifts to alchemize the situation I genuinely almost say pile number one. So some of you may be from pile number one. Eight 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 could also be significant. Seven eight nine is what I'm hearing. That's just crazy energy. Planetary cycles. Look at that. So this could even be happening in some form of like a planetary cycle. I'm hearing planetary alignment as well. Closing cycles, completion, moving forward here. I'm really hearing that the earth is undergoing something really big when it comes to the sun. And I feel like you have a connection with that energy. Okay, poem number two. This could even have something to do with like a solar eclipse energy, some type of new moon energy, possibly as well. Big energies though, okay? Maybe even something about like the summer solstice maybe even the spring equinox as well maybe significant for you i feel like that has something to do with these planetary cycles okay and the energy just may be intense for you right now because of that excuse me i'm also hearing that um there are ships of light surrounding earth right now like all around the earth and you have connections with these energies and something about how you can connect with them to also receive certain downloads and messages from what the sun also wants you to know right now pound number two Again, you have these connections to 5D and up, okay? You are a part of this new world humanity here that is meant to be able to remember their gifts and their powers, you know? Something about that is also significant. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, let's see. Put this up. All right. Um... Let's go into some tarot, shall we? see what comes through here oh okay those flipped over like that for a reason we have the tower the four of swords the moon seven of wands the three of pentacles the hierophant the three of wands energy 
We also have the Six of Pentacles. Hmm, the Queen of Swords. Oh, this is good energy. Let me see. I don't know why that happened like that. Just to show those energies. Some of those may be significant for you. We have the Fool on the split. The Devil at the bottom of the deck. Hmm, definitely portal energy. And look at that on the split. We have the Empress. Very creative energy. Queen of Abundance for sure. Empress of Abundance. Okay, the Fool came back out. Something about you taking a leap of faith into this dimensional shift that's going to be happening for you. This is what the sun wants you to know right now, okay? They want you to literally have this newfound adventure type energy because this is going to be a new beginning for you, okay? You may literally be having to follow your intuition before it makes sense here, okay? Again, though, you would know what's best for you, okay? You would genuinely know. We have the magician here. And that's funny because that's right after the full progressive energy. You're progressing along your journey right now in a very strength oriented energy. OK, your confidence seems to be significant here. OK, be confident within your own energy. This is something that the sun wants you to know right now. Either they want you to be confident or at least you are very confident within your energy. I'm starting to get that because you kind of need confidence within this energy as well. We also have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck as well as the five of cups on the split. Some of you are also really, really being very strong during hard times right now. And this is something that the sun wants you to know. Like you're genuinely doing a beautiful job here. Pile number two. When it comes to, um, you know, integrating, sustaining these energies that are happening around you. Your guys are literally clapping for you right now. Like, <laughs> I'm seeing a group of individuals like giving you your ups, giving you your tens. Oh, I have maybe even because of your own emotional maturity, like maybe even because of how you were able to literally stand in your own emotions without letting anyone sway them here. You know, like you're in connection with yourself. Two of Pentacles here shifts once again is what I'm hearing. Hmm. Some of you are really going to be surprised with how much like abundance actually comes into your energy. What else do we have for what it is that the sun wants my palm number two is to know? We have the hierophant. Look at this. I'm hearing like commitment or committed energies, but then again, this is um conduit energy you know someone that receives messages from the divine here so that may even be significant for you and i feel like you've been heeding the messages here as well we have two of swords okay even now you may be at some form of crossroad energy we have the moon okay maybe like illusions playing out for you right now again though there's emphasis on you following your intuition here because of how connected you are within your own emotions I'm also hearing seeing the darker side of seeing, seeing the darker side of things. Something about, again, you being some form of um, individual that can emit the light within the darkness. Two of wands here. One more. Thank you, spirit. We have seven of pentacles. You reap what you sow. All your hard work and labor that you put into something, you will be getting that energy back. Okay. Tenfold is what I'm hearing. In the form of abundance <laughs> oh my god we have the king of wands here okay leadership quality energy maybe even after some form of pain as well you getting yourself back up look at that we have the emperor hmm okay i want to get a card from another deck actually no way we have the ace of cups after a few shuffles i'm getting this energy of you genuinely showing yourself more self-love more i mean like you've already been doing these things but i'm hearing definitely more and then here we have the lovers as well very beautiful energies genuinely loving energies you may some of you here as well the sun wants you to know that you are calling in some form of lover here okay to come and be a part of this energy that you're calling in for yourself okay this could also be a part of this dimensional shift here look at that that's so crazy most definitely because we have the three of pentacles and the queen of cups here a lot of head and heart energies coming together so that you can get somewhere 
look at that some of you may really be in your heads as well maybe even about your own gifts and talents okay nurture yourself okay definitely look at that we have the eight of swords queen of pentacles as well as the nine of swords some of you may be anxious about a certain energy okay feeling as though you are trapped within something it may even be something financial here but the sun wants you to know to love yourself okay you may even be called to go and ask for support from someone as well um i'm currently seeing four five six letting me know that you are on your path right now okay becoming or being emotionally mature within certain situations like these can be very beneficial for you okay nothing will be able to bring you down is what i'm hearing um so let me get this one more card from this deck here oh my god bottom of the deck we have elders spiritual mentoring you're being, you're being mentored by your own spiritual guides here equality stability wisdom experience as well as counsels there may be some form of experience that you've had to undergo in order for you to really see something clearly here okay this is what the sun wants you to know okay tough love may even be significant is what i'm being drawn to someone says if the universe has to show you some form of tough love in order for you to see something clearly we also have beyond cycles here it says find and embrace yourself new direction releasing old patterns okay so even during a dimensional shift you're going to be experiencing the new but also having to let go of something okay this is how portal energy kind of works you know you kind of release something then you go through it you know we also have rainbow child unstoppable new earth builder like i was saying like you have this blueprint for 5d humanity multi-talented okay this is your energy miraculous alchemy so you're definitely on this road to abundance is what i'm hearing so resting as well as getting a chance to know yourself may really be significant whenever you find the time okay relax smile again share your flow focus on the light okay things of that nature let us see something else and then I'm gonna go ahead and let you go I want to see if you're gonna really I mean you know where you're gonna be traveling to let's see look we have home so you may even literally be traveling within the comfort of your own home as in remote viewing or you finding the time to connect with some type of ability that you have that can genuinely allow you to traverse into another dimension this is something the Sun wants you to know pound number two so let's see i want to get like one or two cards from here this places deck to see where you may be traveling to okay what energies may be coming through for you beautiful we have swimming pool okay um sunbathing tanning pool games and fun pool parties this may be something that you're going to be experiencing soon fun times with the fam fun times with your soul family Whoever that may be for you, sitting by the pool, there's some clear waters. The sunbathing is definitely here, though. That's cool. Okay, so sunbathing is something that the sun wants you to do, most definitely. Get that body up in that sun. <laughs> Receive them energies. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. We have parking lot. Okay, some of you may be literally traveling to a parking lot. I'm not sure why. We have parking spot, park and go, parking garage. You could literally be traveling, oop, traveling and then parking your car in the parking garage. We have, oh, we may be traveling for some form of concert, a live performance, music and celebration. This could also be emphasis on how people will literally come to see you perform. OK, this is for those that are very creative here because you are a powerful creator. Um, I feel like there may be something that you can bring to the community here that the sun is also having some form of like cooperative efforts within. Hmm. It's almost like the sun is going to be like. Um, putting its energy inside of you so that you can create something more powerful than what you already had. And it's going to be shown to the world. But you also could genuinely be traveling to some form of concert. Um, you may even be traveling to gain some form of new information about something here. Reading books, book collection. OK, you may really enjoy books as well as library settings. Um, oh, you may be going to a shopping mall soon. A variety of stores, a shopping center. You may be shopping for something here soon. I feel like I said something about your physical appearance as well. So definitely clothes, shoes, makeup, things of that nature. Let's get one more card. Um, you may even be getting kitchen tools for meal preps here. 
some of you are really enjoy creating meals that is creative energy okay some of you really do enjoy these things and there's nothing wrong with that because it's a part of your dimensional shift it's a part of your cellular upgrade so you can definitely do these things as long as you feel called to it okay but pile number two i feel like that is all that we have for you for what it is that the sun wants you to know if you enjoyed be sure to give the video a like comment share and subscribe if you feel so called to i will definitely see you around okay um scorpio energy seems to be significant but it seems like this is just something that's super deep or um very intense is what i'm getting okay very intense energy here but also very like this intense energy is getting worked with is what i'm getting as well creating some form of a big abundant shift for you but know that you're very protected within these energies and sunbathing is significant okay that's what the sun wants you to know and i will see you around i love you dearly hey pile number three if you have chosen this card number 29 dragons or this apophyllite piece here then this will be your reading for what does the sun want you to know right now what message does the sun have for you i was really drawn to solar beings or like solar sun dragons sun dragons in general the card itself says send dragons to heal the world okay so those here in pond number three I feel like some of you already know this, but the connection that you have with the realm of dragons, it's becoming more prominent as of right now. This is something that the sun wants you to know. You're opening up to an elevated awareness about this different world here. Okay. Um, I'm also being drawn to like different it's a different era okay this is, this is something that i'm being drawn to it's a different energy a different era this may even have happened through some type of um regression that you have went through okay past lifetime regression to where you have actually connected with this energy some of you naturally have a connection to the dragon realm as well this is something that the sun wants you to know or there's just big significance on how the dragons that do operate on the sun our central sun they are working with you okay so there are high vibrational dragons working within your energy a lot of these dragons are also opening up certain waves of energy within your dna is what i'm getting okay so i do have some channel messages over here and i definitely want to get into those energies i feel like they are very significant when it comes to your pile pile number three um there also may even be significance on how different you are okay even how you apply your own life in your day-to-day -day, something about that is significant when it comes to what the sun wants you to know right now okay maybe there's emphasis on you being um unshakable is what i'm hearing your energy is very unshakable higher dimensions are literally communicating with you here is what the sun wants you to know palm number three let's see though let's tap into your channel messages i have here clutch <laughs> okay so clutch or clutches maybe significant crutches um you may have undergone some form of um accident recently okay your healing is going to genuinely be very beautiful is what i'm hearing there is emphasis on the ram's horn um there may you may have a car or there's something about the restaurant ram's horn or just horns in general i do have the finale here as well so something is coming to an end or there's going to be an event that happens within um your near future that is the finale to something i also have car sex here which may be significant for someone um you may have just had car sex <laughs> but that is definitely here um I have target lock on as in madly focused so some of you here may even be truly madly focused on something okay i'm definitely being drawn to how there are like eyes all around you like you are drawing the attention of people here or spirit in general 
like I could definitely see that you're being watched in some type of way in a very positive light when it comes to your protection. OK, but you are almost never alone here. Pile number three. Something about two, two, two is significant for your energy. It's almost as if right now you were in alignment is what I'm hearing. OK, you are where you are meant to be right now. Pile number three. Something about Palace Athena. I'm also hearing your truth. Okay. You are standing right now within your truth, or this is something that you aspire to do. Okay. But this energy is definitely showing, as in your beauty is very significant. Um, as well as Aphrodite's energy. I feel like Aphrodite is also working with you here, Paul number three, helping you to better your own beauty, your sense of beauty, because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. There are so many different versions of beauty out here. <laughs> But, you know, uh, I feel like you're just feeling yourself more. Okay, pile number three this is something that the sun wants you to know. Either that you can feel yourself more right now or that you're being called to. Okay. There's something about shortcuts here as well. People are interested in your shortcuts, um, how you are doing things, pile number three, what you are doing. They are interested. It's almost as if that... Um, your life is very significant for certain people within your surroundings here. They are genuinely interested in your next steps, um, your next creative outlet here. Something about a star rail as well. Like maybe energetically right now you were on this up and up energy. Um, you are rising is what I'm hearing here. Okay. Transcending certain realities. Um, there's also emphasis on you meeting in the stars. Okay. So you may even genuinely have been meeting dragons within the stars here, um, maybe even during meditation, um, during your sleep, during your waking hours as well. You may genuinely communicate with these dragons on a day to day basis. This is something that I'm being drawn to. It's very beautiful energy. I also have here having the key to your heart. OK, so either you know someone that has the key to your heart or the sun is letting you know that someone has the key to your heart. <laughs> um the number nine is also significant nine 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 may be significant as well big energies of new beginnings after a ending or some form of complete energy is surrounding you right now it's reminding me of that the finale type vibe here okay grounding your energy is also significant there may even be s significance on nine stories um the ninth floor of something Someone's job may be significant here as well is what I'm being drawn to. Um, someone is tired. Take a nap is also what I have here. Tiger's eye, amethyst, howlite, as well as hematite may be significant crystals for what the sun wants you to know, or at least the sun wants you to work with these crystals. Tiger's eye, amethyst, howlite, as well as hematite. Um, tigers, bears, and exotic animals may be significant. For example, like a white tiger. Um, you may have interest within these energies. Maybe even you have a wonder in where they all went. Um, you may just genuinely have interest in exotic things, exotic animals, exotic plants. The exotic animals within the sea is what I'm getting. The exotic fish. Something about Cthulhu is also significant. Um, your brain is accessing knowledge not yet known in your bloodline here. Pile number three. It's genuinely what I have written down. So I feel like this is also dragon knowledge, like ancient dragon knowledge. I feel like it's something that you're connecting with right now. Like your brain is accessing knowledge not yet known in your bloodline. So it's as if you're literally doing something for the first time as a soul's experience. Okay. Whatever this may be, <laughs> but it's accelerating your energy. Okay. We have acceleration here. Okay, so let's see. I want to tap in and see what comes through. Um, I'd love to hear that you're accelerating. Like, that's always a good energy. So let's go here. I want to go there. I also want to tap into here again. And then I want to tap into this because I feel like something about, like, your career is significant because I said something about your job. So I'm going to pull some career and money cards. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm gonna go here first, most definitely. Let's see. We have seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure why, but it wanted to show itself. Um, protecting your energy. 
I feel like certain dragons right now are genuinely protecting your energy as you stand within your truth here because they know how vulnerable your energy can be as you stand within your authenticity. So you have dragons here working with you, helping you protect your energy as well as heal the world. Something about you being on a double mission as well, pile number three. So you may really be going through quite a lot here. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see what we have. Queen of Wands. Bold energy. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles here as well. Self-mastery is what I'm hearing. This is a big self-mastery here. Maybe some of you are in your heads about your own self-mastery, okay? Maybe even... I'm hearing some of you are also going to be receiving an offer soon, right? And then you would want to be within this energy of knowing that you can do what it is that you want to do because you have this self-mastery about yourself. Okay? But this is interesting energy. Because I literally said something about someone having the key to your heart. And we have the Knight of Cups, which could even be the energies of a romantic offer coming in. But some of you are in your head about this energy, or at least just in your head in general. Feeling trapped about something here. You may even be receiving certain dreams about this energy as well, is what I'm hearing. Hmm. We're definitely going to look into your spirit animal, because I feel like they also have significance here. Golly very strong connections with nature i mean like almost every pile has had a very strong connection with nature here almost as if what happens in nature you reflect those energies you know the hanged man here stillness energy stillness for enlightenment as well i'm hearing patience here as well we have the fool to the magician right up under it this genuinely happened in another pile, which is so interesting. Yeah, look at that. I'm being drawn to how um, even as you've been evolving, so too have your spirit guides. So your spirit guides are on this high vibration as well as you are. So it's like there's an overall evolution within your energy is what I'm hearing. Look at this. We have the um, high priest here with the number five. Hmm, there's emphasis on playing here as well. Grace. Oh my God. Stop it. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? That makes no sense. Anyway, she was playing with a sucker. Okay, so I feel like suckers may be significant with, for you. <laughs> Why was she doing that? Uh, she was genuinely about to knock the whole sucker off the... the out. <laughs> something about you being like very connected with the high elders of the dragon realm okay this is what the sun wants you to know we also have chains here's more of that energy of you feeling stuck let's see let's see because i have to see david has to see i'm curious let's see let's see let's see distractions seem to be significant as well just because of that devil they came through oh look at this we have the central sun abundance downloads regeneration and success okay so i'm going to keep this <laughs> and we also have sacred inner space sacred chakra tenderness as well as sensuality funny how sensuality came through and i said something about car sex here hmm. there's emphasis on how people are genuinely envious as well as um curious into your new beginnings the things that you are stepping into here your magic is also something that's very like um intimidating to other people okay this is something that the sun wants you to know right now like you are genuinely out here um creating a name for yourself is what i'm hearing okay what is it that the sun wants my palm number three to know these sun dragons that are here we have stellar gateway activation infinite potential as well as manifestation vortex there's a manifestation coming in 100 percent 
and the sun is literally helping you with these energies here helping you create some form of gateway to create some form of manifestation here it's going to heal the world whatever this is that you're bringing in that's why it's coming through like this and it's interesting because even here we have the sun in the back as if it's rising like a new beginning here brow chakra inner vision clear seeing so i feel like you're seeing something very clearly here Pile number three whatever this energy may be you're seeing it clear as day you have an intuition that's very connected to the divine realms here it says great beings of light please guide my way so that my golden future starts today something about that may be significant for you starting your golden future today what is it that the sun wants my palm number three is to know there's also emphasis on you starting something here maybe even you feel very stagnant about something as well let's see the number 11 seems to be significant we have card number 18 manifestation and mind control focus your thoughts look at that it's very interesting because we got the eight of swords that came through literally you're being asked to focus your thoughts maybe even focusing your thoughts more towards um manifestation okay we also have work satisfaction seek that which fulfills your soul here this is something that you're being asked to do okay card number 13 reminds me of death energy we also have a group consciousness up under that embrace oneness here i feel like there's something about how like because this reminds me of the central sun energy um your ancestors here they all have connections to the dragons just as much as you do here okay but you're doing something that's unimaginable to even them right now okay is what i'm hearing so even your own ancestors you're doing something that's very unimaginable this is why you have their attention with this energy like they're just watching you as you go through some form of initiation here with this hangman very interesting energy like <laughs> you're educating yourself which is so interesting no children be all you can be you and your children may even be asked to if you have children okay get into an energy of like creative i'm hearing creative manifestations but i'm not sure let's see look at that the children came right back out your children are very bright okay or even the kids that you work with look at that we have education both of these cards came back out expand your right brain creativity one more creativity no way express your soul energy and then it even asks you to um seek what which fulfills your soul here with work satisfaction this could literally be something that the sun wants you to work on here okay is your creativity look at this because this will jump shift your life okay you may even want to tune into crystals here working with the crystals because they will alter your dna they will help you move forward in the ways that you want to move forward here okay the economy could even be significant this trust your needs will be met here most definitely you will be connecting with high vibrational people across the earth here okay your soul family is what i'm hearing this is something that the sun wants you to know very colorful energies within your reading as well pile number three i feel like rainbows could also be significant or at least the color spectrum you may even be studying color theory or at least just studying colors let's tap in let's see what we can get for you let's see let's see i feel like your third eye is definitely receiving messages here as well Call number three you may be like genuinely about to get some form of light bulb moment what fell to the floor yeah we have home based okay home is the harbor of the soul it's the safest place you can be so change your environment so you may be asked to work on your environment cleanse your home up a little bit maybe change things up spruce things up a little bit you know maybe get some type of um i'm hearing a painting you may even want to paint something and then put it up on the wall as art you may even want to just genuinely do some yard work or just something of the sort just working on your home okay something about that may be significant for what the sun wants you to know maybe even protecting your home 
you may want to do some type of protection ritual something like that maybe significant so let's see we have moving up i love this and on the bottom of the deck we have sweet success it says it it is not difficult to get everything you want and enjoy it i love this energy big lollipop vibes it says get what you want get what you want and I mean, like here we have literally seek what fulfills your soul, work satisfaction. Are you satisfied at your workplace? If not, get what you want. You are moving up. Career is on the rise. New offers and opportunities. Salary increase. Go to the next level. And that's the full energy. OK, you're on the next level right now. Pound number two may be significant for you. Pound number three. OK, we also have endings. Look at that. It's time to say goodbye to something because you're going on to the next level. The cycle is over. It's time for you to make a change. Rebirth, exclamation point. Okay, skulls may even be significant for you. Neon lighting or maybe even, um, what's those lights? I forgot. You know, you may have just put lights up into your room. You know, the lights that like RGB lights, the ones that you've got the remote for type energy. You know, it's not even a remote no more because some of them you can just have an app for now. But that may be significant. Okay. We also have oh, no way endings and new beginnings. You will start a new job in life. Clean sweep over hit the reset button. That's basically what you've done here. <laughs> you may genuinely be getting a new home and then we had sweet success and then we have looking. You may genuinely be looking for a new home after the ending of something here. Maybe you'll be looking for a new career as well. Have an eye for beauty and uncover hidden charms. I feel like I said something about your beauty. And how beauty was in the eye of the beholder. It says, seek and you will find as well. Very beautiful energies. Again, like I said, the color is definitely here as well. I want to tap into one of these cards. And see what comes through. Please keep in mind that your brain is accessing knowledge not yet known in your bloodline. Okay? You are in acceleration mode. <laughs> you will be letting go of certain individuals just because of this ending energy. Individuals, certain things, certain mindsets. Just so that you can experience these new beginnings here. And I love this energy. And I want to see what divine master or divine light individual is working with you here. Helping you to attune to these energies. And here we have... Kathumi, an initiatory experience like i was saying with this hangman here initiation energy it says your current situation is initiating your gifts did i say that already if not it's significant and i, I feel like bees are significant as well like i keep hearing the humming of a bee and i know it's not no bee around me but i feel like prosperity looms in your energy like you will be experiencing some form of prosperous experience soon. But know that right now you're undergoing some form of initiation right now. OK, initiation energy. Look at this. The divine director. Trust the process. Create space for divine order to unfold within your energy. Then you see all the light and the colors. That's how your energy is looking here. OK. Your vibration just emits all these colors as if it's within your aura as well. We also have Saint Germain here with the violet flame. You notice some high vibrational energy. It says alchemy, release the old, make new for, <laughs> make way for the new because this energy is literally on its way. Trust the process. You have a divine director here working within your energy. Look at that. Release the old. And then we have karma release. It says debts are paid. Choose your destiny. Shiva may even be very significant for you. You are at the end of a cycle. <laughs> what more can I say? What more do you want from me? Pile number three. I love you. <laughs> um, let me get one more card. And then I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I genuinely hope that you enjoy it. Pound number three. Very beautiful energy here. Let's see what the sun wants you to know. Okay. You're literally working with the violet flame here. And that's a very big energy. Can I get one card for what the sun wants my pound number threes to know here? Spirit. 
the message is oh that one slid right out beautiful here we have angelic ones divine healing is upon you pile number three divine grace and divine guidance very beautiful energy you are not alone and we have synchronicity <laughs> look how beautiful these feminine are we have opportunities and divine timing as well as open to change and divine outcomes very beautiful pay attention to the synchronicities that you are receiving here because i feel like there's messages within that as well there may even be some type of like divine masculine energy that you have to step into here because it says rise of true gentle power true strength okay i feel like you're tapping into your true strength now okay i really do get this some of you are really good with children as well working with children right now can also be very beneficial for you even when it comes to expanding your right brain here okay but be sure to express your soul energy and do what <clears throat> satisfies your soul here okay i love you dearly this is all that i have for you um be sure to like comment share um subscribe if you feel so called to i love you dearly um <laughs> i feel like your guys genuinely love you as well like i feel like that's why i feel this energy um there's something about starburst lifesavers and um mints or like tangerines is what i'm being drawn to as well so weird but that's just something i'm hearing oranges <laughs> but i will definitely see you around okay do say hey paul number four if you have chosen this card number eight music or this angel light piece here then this will be your reading for what does the sun want you to know right now what messages does the sun have for you let's go ahead and connect with the energy and see what we can get <sighs> i do have some written down channel messages here for you so we're going to tap into those after i connect with the energy what is that Mm, okay I, th I think that's a blue jay blue jays may be significant for you i feel like um palm number one or palm number two could be significant for you it's so interesting because i've been doing that throughout the entire reading but i feel like that may be significant here okay pile number two or pile number one for you pile number four um your mind is definitely connected to a higher realm is something that i'm hearing for you as well pile number four the card itself says bring yourself into divine harmony and i feel like you can do this with your own energetic um frequency your own energetic signature something about your energetic signature gives off this vibe of music um the harmonics within your energy the way vibrations flow off of you give off a very harmonious rhythm and something about that may be significant but maybe even music can bring you into harmony is also something that i'm hearing so you may be someone that genuinely has an ear for music um creating music listening to others music you may even just genuinely truly enjoy music to a very strong t but music seems to be beneficial or significant when it comes to what the sun wants you to know right now so you may even have um listened to a certain song as of recently that may have caught your ear i was about to say caught your eye <laughs> but you know something about that may be significant i'm definitely being drawn to creativity though or just you bringing yourself into harmony in whatever way that may be for you it doesn't necessarily have to be music okay pile number four but the sun wants you to find ways that you can bring yourself into harmony. Whether that's listening to hertz, frequencies, things of that nature, or rather is going on a certain walk here. What brings you into divine harmony? Okay. And I also feel as though there are certain angelic beings that are also working within your energy along with the sun within this reading. Okay. So we might tap into those energies and see what comes through, but you definitely are connected to the angelic realm as well. Okay. Very high up there is what I'm getting. Okay. Very high consciousness. At least you have an understanding of the world. Okay. Pile number four. Let's look into your channel messages. I have sports, athletics, 
Olympics. Okay, so I feel like some of you here genuinely have like just a knack for working through your traits, abilities, and talents. Like you, you've already kind of got a handle on what you can do or what kind of gifts you've been given in this reality. I feel like that may be significant for you and what the sun wants you to at least work on here or pay attention to. Um, we do have fifth house energy as well. So I'm being drawn to like what you do for fun, um, your passions, things of that nature, your creativity zone, things like that, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, all of these things may be significant. I'm also being drawn to 1429. I'm going to search that angel number up. see what comes through look at this <clears throat> 1429 is a message that the angels are fully supporting and guiding you along the steps of your life path and your soul's journey so you're not alone we have personal growth and development as well so this is good okay Wh whatever this energy may be i want you to know genuinely whoever all of you here that were drawn to pile number four you are being fully supported by your angels and you're being guided okay by these angels along the steps of your life path and your soul's journey you can call upon these energies to help you if you feel as though that you're not in divine harmony um something continues to grow which i feel though which i feel is your energy no matter what so your energy continues to grow no matter what you continue to evolve you continue to transform you continue to face certain challenges head on and still come on top as the winner is what i'm getting look at this we literally <laughs> it says support here okay so support as a channel message on top of the fact of 1429 which genuinely says the angels are fully supporting you um so big support and then we have transmute okay so there may be something about you transmuting something here we also have a visualization of a desired outcome so doing that may be significant for you this may be a way for you to bring yourself into divine harmony. This is something that the sun wants you to know. Visualize a desired outcome for yourself here. Okay. You are the pro. Some of you here have also um, fallen into bullying here as well, or just have experienced that energy of bullying. Malachite may be significant here as well. Wearing a Malachite or having Malachite around you. Malachite is that green crystal. You know, we love a malachite piece. It always reminds me of nature. Um, it's a very grounding crystal for me as well. It definitely has that weight on it. Like the gravity pool is definitely there. Um, Kundalini rising seems to be significant as well. Something about fluorite or um, the, mouth, the mouthwash, if you use any, may be significant. Um, city views. You may be somewhere where you can get some city views right now. Or maybe like city views are something that bring you into divine harmony you know um two three four which is interesting <laughs> i have that as a channel number for let me see for pile number one okay so like i said pile number one as well as pile number two may be significant for you let's see what else we have for channel messages i have opening your heart look at that with mudras there may have been another pile you were drawn to <laughs> We have affirmations here as well. You may have been doing your affirmations. I also have names here, which may be significant. I have Jennifer, Kyle, Lucy, um, Marcus, Rose, um, and Tyler here as well. Um, angels, Seraphim, Attunement, working with circles. So isn't that interesting? Some of you are literally being attuned to a Seraphim vibration and i was already getting that that's why i said that there was like this higher consciousness energy here there are angels right now attuning you to a seraphim attunement level okay working within circles so there may be like archangel energy working with your energy as well pile number four this is something that the sun wants you to know um the lake as well may be significant some of you are near a lake or would like to be by a lake but something about your subconscious mind is significant. I'm also being drawn to the rune Lagos. Okay. Something about that may be significant for you as well. 
Lagus as well as um Othala. Okay. Those rooms may be significant. Something is rebalancing within your energy as well as the song wants you to know that um, 360 degrees, three layer protection is around you right now. OK, so you have a three layer, 360 degree protective bubbles around you. So interesting. Let's go ahead and tap in and see. <laughs> Let's go ahead and tap in and see what comes through for you. Pile number four. Um, I actually have two decks already ready to go into, so we're going to go ahead and tap in and see. I don't know why I'm hearing enlightened masculine. Okay, that may be significant. I just heard the road to glory. I'm also hearing Rome as well as... um some type of candy strip that's like rainbow i forgot what that's called i know airheads made it i think something about that may be significant for your energy sweets candy oh what do we have here for what the sun wants them to know what does the sun want my palm number four is to know right now we have card number eight again okay so eight 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 seems to be significant i feel like there's an abundance of angels working within your energy there's an abundance of harmonics as well as what i'm hearing you may have been getting um ringing within your ear as well palm number four this is also confirmation of letting you know that there are angels as well as even your guys um sending you vibrations to um attune you to a higher vibration here because you're you're leveling up you're literally on the up and up right now we have critical judgment channel your knowledge here i feel like you are in connection with your higher self as well pile number four this is something that the sun wants you to know right now bottom of the deck we have dark night of the soul interesting life brings new meaning some of you may be experiencing this energy as well which is why it says bring yourself into divine harmony but you got, you got this 100% you got this here's that energy signature energy as I was saying on the split the past is in the present like your energy as a signature is so significant like even you as this higher being here able to truly know where you are in the galaxy and the universe here allows for you to have like a lot of control within your own energy is what I'm hearing you may even be right now reclaiming your mind as in recalling power from your higher self so that you can progress within this reality much smoother here. You know, living in divine harmony, something about that may be significant. I can definitely tell that um, the sun itself is almost coming through as a higher consciousness being here that can give you messages. OK, something about that is also significant. We have open intuition seek clarification there may even be something that you're wanting to seek clarification in and we have create open communication with the ascended masters here who love and light energy act with care i feel like there are some high vibrational beings working within your energy right now and there is emphasis on you creating open communication with these divine beings here so that you can bring yourself into divine harmony especially with the times as of right now when you're listening to this reading okay your energy signature is going through a big major upgrade and it's also based around your desires here okay visualization of a desired outcome okay open intuition seek clarification channel your knowledge here let's see what messages we can get for you here how can they create open communication with these ascended masters if not already and what messages does the sun want them to know right now hmm. some of you already genuinely have this energy flowing through you we have the moon with soul energy hmm something is happening during your sleep as well is what i'm hearing with this moon soul energy it's almost as if your soul traverses through the ethers to communicate with these ascended masters here we also have saturn return age okay the color green is also significant some of you are also going through a saturn return here okay hmm and your soul is literally shifting here look at this don't tell me did, did we channel this we literally channeled the fifth house in this creativity card number 29 29 again with open intuition seek clarification 
So 11 seems to really be significant. So we have two 29s and then two eights. 11, 11. Oh, we have two twos as well. So two, two, 29, 29, eight and eight. Okay, the synchronicities. We have Leo and Leo rules the fifth house. So this is home energy, strength oriented vibes. Oh, this is good. You're exactly where you're meant to be right now. Pile number four. Like in order for you to actually get what it is that you've been wanting here and whatever this may be, you're in the right place to bring you into divine harmony. Hmm, your soul's age. Something about you being a very old soul as well, Paul number four. Open your intuition into these energies because you have communication capabilities with these ascended masters. And it's funny how we're getting messages from the sun and it's like Leo rules the sun as well as the fifth house energy. <laughs> so it's like you have so much going on here about like you having the sun's capabilities within you here. It's like you were probably a son already in a past lifetime is what I'm getting as well due to your soul's age like your soul understands what it's like to live a lifetime as a star and then die and then you know something about that is significant look at this 44 with revolution solar eclipse you know my readings are timeless but April 8th is a solar eclipse okay and your energies are definitely gonna be revolutionizing themselves <laughs> okay like you're gonna be a different person and i feel like this also has energies connected with the seraphim attunement vibe like even the angels and the guys working with your energy pile number four are awakening you into a higher vibration here look at this then we have the 10th house this is reminding me of like i'm hearing authority but this is you like being in a place of like this is what i came to earth to do you know this is your reputation this is how the world views you okay how you help the world as well with this 10th house energy i feel like all of this is going to be changing all of this is going to be more in your reality is what's happening within the world here something about the earth's axis point as well may be significant for you and it's funny because we have the moon here and the sun but they're on opposite ends so this is giving like full moon energy Hmm. So pay attention to the full moon as well as Taurus energy as well. Hmm. Capricorn, Taurus energy. Up under that, we have eighth house with endings and beginnings. So you may be undergoing that as well. I'm also seeing five, five, five. So more energy of like endings and beginnings. Fast, quick changes as well. The sun wants you to know that you're about to literally go through a revolutionary energy here and i want to look into what this solar eclipse says from the book okay just because i feel like it genuinely has something for you and then we're also going to tap into some more energies i rarely go into this deck which is so crazy where did i just go to i went to the leo card so quick um let me see key ideas the individual creativity play children the stage standing out as well as your heart strength oriented energy the way you appear to others is important now and this card indicates growth in both reputation and career you may opt for a new look if you are looking to change careers something original or to do with the public will be likely if a job emphasizes team players you will soon be one of the leaders Whatever is happening, you are at the center of it and it will be an adventure. This might mean being a bit of a gypsy, traveling, going with the flow, and trusting in your ability to make it all work out. And it will. <clears throat> wow. The pleasure principle <clears throat> and a temptation to spend a lot of money may also factor in. <laughs> you could take a gamble and win, but show caution here, okay? Wow, it says you may experience strange and exotic circumstances where you will have to play queen or king big boss like energy since leo rules the fifth house this card can indicate romance entering your life so look at that it will be generous open and playful it may be a connection where you will work together on an idea or possibly ventures with a vision that will create new things for the public to enjoy look at that the world 
This is a time for standing out and making sure you are counted. You are going to be appreciated for your unique qualities. It is about to happen. Your life is soon to be filled with creative, fun, optimism, and a youthful adventure. So let me go to Solar Eclipse because I did not have to see that. I just felt drawn to it. Solar Eclipse. Wow, this card spells out change. When the Solar Eclipse card turns up in a reading, you can expect swift changes that end one chapter and start a new one. We literally just saw ending and beginnings with the eighth house. You may have felt something would eventually happen, not having recently paid much attention to the situation. Then you are presented with a shock or a jolt that you are reeling over the sudden change. This upheaval takes away <clears throat> what has been familiar and safe so you can embark on new territories or even venture to a strange new terrain. But it will be daunting. These, em these events may seem like negatives at first, a divorce, the end to a relationship, being forced to move, or even losing your job. Eclipses tend to affect relationships foremost, however, and so you may soon set stressors and upsetting changes in the relational supports you have counted on. For whatever reason, there may, <laughs> there may be taken away, either for the time being, but perhaps permanently. So the one thing you can count on is that your life will go through a complete rearrangement of sorts. The energies are saying that it is necessary to be cruel before being kind. Very interesting. But eclipses are not always about the downside. Instead, you may find yourself having to dive in, change something, fix something, or create something you hadn't fully thought of but will work out brilliantly. That ends up transforming your life all the ways you've hoped for maybe beyond your wildest imaginings. So, all in all, when the solar eclipse card turns up, it implies you are being forced to make a decision to act on it. There will be no stepping away from it, even though you may not have been consciously aware of just how much certain issues were not working. It's time to look ahead and finally resolve what has held you back. Now it is time to begin anew and start that new chapter in the book of life. I just felt like that was significant. All right, take what resonates from that piece of information and we will continue to move forward. <laughs> but you are definitely revolutionizing your energy. And this is so beautiful. So let's see. Let's tap into some tarot. See what we can get for you. Where are we with time? Looking pretty good. Mohawks seem to be significant. Some of you want to change your hair. Some of y'all look like that. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's see. What messages does the sun want my pile number four is to know right now? Thank you. King of Cups. This has come through as well. And another reading. <laughs> and another pile of four of swords. Resting your mind. Resting your emotions as well being mature about something we have the seven of cups even in the face of like all the options that you may be having as well hmm, it's almost as if you can really tap your foot into so many different things but you're being asked to almost choose one thing that you know feel like is really calling your energy and tap into that first here we also have the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck the tower energy it was just kind of talking about some type of jolt or shocking energy that comes through okay that may be significant we also have temperance here more of that angelic frequency vibe coming through and it is over here with ascended masters hmm. this is a good energy though we have so many energies of you having angelic protection around you and just you being patient look at this we have the ace of cups bottom of the deck and then what's trying to show is the six of wands you may even feel like you're like um, at a loss of something here. I'm hearing at a loss, but you're found. You have the lovers there as well. Look at that. You've been through a lot, most definitely here, because we have the five of pentacles as well as the five of swords. It's about time for something to shift here and for you to be seen by the world is what I'm hearing. 
be patient with this energy, but definitely create open communication with these ascended masters as well as these angels that are working within your energy here, creating something for you. We have the Ace of Wands. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers once I did some shuffling. This is good energy. Oh my God, on the split. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Woo. This is a lot of new energy once you do create this open communication. Just almost let down some walls is what I'm hearing. Um, let's see though. Let me get some more information for you. Let's go here. Let's see if we can get one of these masters of light to come through for you with a message. These are one of those ascended masters here. So let's see what ascended master has a message for you. Oh, we have two. Let's see the first one. Archangel Michael and faith. It says spiritual calling. You have divine protection and you are in this breakthrough moment right now. This is definitely what this energy was given. This was given breakthrough. Like you about to really do something that you thought you could never do or something that you would have thought could never get done. And then boom, light bulb moment. You get a chance to go through something here. We have divine mission here. Enlightened action. Make choices from the heart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck. Serapis Bay paradigm shift here activation to grow make the necessary change and That's what Serapis Bay is saying. I love me some Serapis Bay always good energy Miraculous moment here with the guru Ram Dass. It says harmony surrounds you expect miracles. Look at this This is good energy. Shiva came through in a lot of the files too as well the end of a cycle debts are paid choose your destiny Look at that. On the split, we have the Lumerians, clairvoyance activated, psychic awareness, sensitivity, trust your intuition here. They're not playing. And then up under that was blue beings, light transmission, wounds healed, important information charging up. You're in connection with some high vibrational beings here. Okay. And look at how they work in your energy. You're a divine being. Pile number four. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. But know to show yourself rest. And it's almost like um, show love and light and care to yourself whenever you can here. OK, don't be too heavily invested into certain things where you forget about like your own purpose is what I'm getting. You know, your purpose for others as well. Um, you can't pour from an empty cup is also something that I'm hearing. Very interesting energy. Let's see what else we can get for you. Um, that may be it, actually. Okay. <laughs> like, as I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like there's more for me to pull for you. If you enjoyed <laughs> pawn number four, be sure to give the video a like, comment, share if you feel so called to, and subscribe. Um, I love you dearly. Okay. You're very much so protected in these times. You have divine protection. There are about to be miracles within your energy. Trust your intuition here. Okay. There are activations and paradigm shifts within your energy. You're in your spiritual calling mode. Like this is good energy. Your soul is awakening. Big revolution energy. <laughs> I'll see you around, Paul, number four. I love you dearly. All right.